you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm very proud to announce that earlier this week we completed our rollout of booster doses of the COVID-19 vaccination for eligible residents of New Brunswick nursing homes. Nous tenons à souligner le travail et le développement de la part des équipes de gestion de chaque foyer de soins. We are also making excellent progress in providing booster doses to residents of adult residential facilities. Nous tenons à remercier les membres du programme extramural pour avoir aidé à atteindre de importants objectifs. As of Tuesday, our rollout for that group was 83.5% complete. We expect we will be able to offer booster doses to all residents living in these facilities by the end of the month. Mr. Speaker, we learned earlier in the COVID-19 pandemic that people living in long-term care facilities are particularly vulnerable to the viruses if they do come into contact with it and are not vaccinated. Nous sommes bien contents d'avoir dû prendre cette mesure pour protéger davantage nos résidents et plus vulnérables. By ensuring they have a booster shot, we are significantly reducing the likelihood that they will become severely ill or hospitalized if they do contract COVID-19. Mr. Speaker, we will continue to make booster shots available to more groups who require additional protection in the weeks ahead as part of our ongoing pandemic response. Je veux aussi dire merci à toutes les personnes pour les soins qu'ils donnent à notre population la plus vulnérable. I particularly want to thank those who took time to get their vaccine in order to provide a safe environment for all residents and their co-workers, and I encourage all other workers to do the same. About 90% of all workers are now fully vaccinated and will continue to see an encouraging trend towards a fully vaccinated staff in the near future. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur le Président.